Hello Dave is brought to you ad-free by my supporters on Patreon. Become a Patreon yourself and get your name listed as a supporter at the end of every video by following the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hello Dave with Down to Earth Astronomy. Let's have a look at what's been going on in last week. Elite has been extraordinarily quiet this week. Um, I've been searching around the forums, I've been searching around on Reddit, and normally I would write down notes during the week when something comes up, but this week it was pretty empty, there was nothing actually. Um, so I guess this is down to the fact that Frontier is moving office, so they're moving to a new phys physical location. Um, so I guess that's why it's been a little quiet this week. Um, so instead this week I want to talk about a recently launched mission by NASA called TESS. Now TESS is a, is a probe that's going to help in the search for exoplanets. Um, so quite interesting, it's going to survey the, the whole sky for the next two years. And historically we have seen that when new exoplanets were discovered, discovered um, thinking about the Kepler mission, um, that they were added, or at least the Elite Galaxy was altered so to fit that new uh, data to try and keep the galaxy as up-to-date as new planets are discovered. Um, now, the way this is going to do, this, there's been attacked, you know, many methods to, to find exoplanets. This is going to be a transient um, method where um, we're actually looking for stars where the planets orbit in such a way that they come in in front of the star and dim some of the light and then by looking at the dimming of the light of the stars uh, you can then determine a lot about the planet. Um, I actually did uh, a while back, I, I used some footage from, from Elite and, uh, and I did a small simulation of how something like this could, uh, could look. So I took a uh, the spectrum of, uh, in this case, our sun, and I simulated how the spectrum would look as a planet moving in, in front of it. It's, it's running here so you can see it. It's basically, as you can see, the, as the planet moves in, the light is slowly beginning to dim. Um, but you will also notice that in the tail end of, uh, of the spectrum, we're beginning to get small uh, absorption lines or like there's parts where, it's, uh, where there's more light missing than in other parts. Um, and that could be if the planet, for instance, has an atmosphere, then the molecules of that atmosphere would absorb some of the light. I mean, this effect is going to be very, very small and might not be something people are able to see. But in theory, um, you should be able to see some of these absorption lights from the atmosphere if the planet has an atmosphere, of course. Now, the, the downside of using this method, of course, is that the, if the planet is not orbiting and uh, coming in blocking the light, if it's opening like around it, if we're looking down from on top or from the bottom to that solar system, then of course we'll never be able to uh, to discover the planets, um, and of course it favors that you find larger planets close to the star with a high orbit time, also a high orbit velocity, uh, so they move around very quickly. Um, so it, of course it's not perfect, but it's interesting to see, and it's especially a thing focusing on trying to find uh, Earth-like worlds. And I think I read somewhere that they're planning to, hoping that they're going to find. Oh, should I rephrase that? Expecting that they're going to find around 20,000 new planets um, during the course of the two-year mission. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, one other thing, again, it's going to be a, be a short one this week. Um, the live stream, which would normally be tomorrow, is going to be moved because I will not be, uh, be available tomorrow. So live stream will be moved to Wednesday instead. Same time slot, um, 9 o'clock Central European Summer Time or that which is 7 o'clock in game time. I'll be streaming here on YouTube. Um, the content of the stream um, is not 100% not sure. I have lately been, been because there's a lot, a lot of people when I'm, when I'm streaming who always ask why am I not streaming on Twitch. Now, the main reason why I'm not streaming on Twitch is because YouTube is my primary platform. This is, I mean, this is where people are and it's always difficult to make people switch platforms, so I would I would never stop streaming on on YouTube, but I could I have been considering going and then doing a dual stream, so we stream on both platforms, because there's actually quite a few neat tools out there that allow me to merge the two chats together, so I don't have to monitor separate separate things, but 
I just don't know how big of an audience and how much interest there would be in um, in watching streams on on Twitch. But I maybe mean, feel free to let me know in the, in the comment section. I mean, if if you had the choice, if I was streaming to build platform, would you rather watch it on uh, on Twitch? And if if so, why? Because I have been considering if it's something I should set up. But at least for this week, it's just going to be business as usual, uh, live stream here on YouTube only. Um, and this week, of course, as I said, going to be moved to Wednesday. So that's the plan for um, for the week. Um, yeah, sorry for for a slightly shorter. There was really again not really a lot of been going on in uh, in the league this uh, this week. But I hope you liked the video anyway. If you did, give it a like down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And until next time, I'll see you guys in space.